In this video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at 3D Coats navigation. We have touched on this subject in other videos, especially in the Intro to 3D Coat playlist. However, there are a number of additions that have been added over the course of 3D Coat version 4 and 4.5, so we're going to try and cover all of these together. Let's get started by going to the upper right-hand corner of the interface, and this is called the navigation bar and then you have a camera menu so let's start with a navigation bar here and these first few options are for lighting so we won't necessarily cover these we've gone over these in some detail previously this one is for blurring but the next three icons here are strictly for viewport navigation and if you have any experience with Lightwave or Modo, these are probably very familiar to you. This one will pan and then zoom. Now inside the viewport, 3D Coats standard navigation, you can go to the camera menu and choose the navigation preset you want to work with. Let's choose 3D Coat, which is the default. And the navigation here is just simply left mouse click and drag outside the object. Now you'll see this little widget or this little gizmo on the surface of the object and what that's doing is that's really co giving you a visual indication of where its pivot center is. The reason it's on the ear is because I have a given option here such as maybe the last draw point for example if I click on that if I'm working in a given area, let's say if I want to sculpt around the eyebrows, I'm going to bring the depth down by right click and dragging up and down to increase or decrease the depth level. I'll choose a softer brush. So, yeah, if I'm working in this area, I can hover outside the object and rotate. And you'll see that little widget located right where I last had my cursor working on the surface of the model. I'm going to undo. Another way you can designate where 3D Coat places its rotation or pivot center is to use a custom point. So let's look at this one. If you hit the end key on your keyboard, that's END, then 3D Coat will let you make an assignment to that particular option and this works throughout the application. I chose my backslash hotkey so I'll try this. Now when I move my cursor outside the object left mouse click and drag you can see where I had my cursor when I hit the hotkey that's where 3D Coat is going to place the action center or the rotation center. So let's try that over here. I'm going to hit my hotkey. Now I can move my cursor outside. Now if you're a Maya user, what we can do is with a standard 3D Coat navigation, if we hover inside of our object and hold down the Alt key, 3D Coat is going to suspend any work, whether you're painting, you're sculpting, working in the retopple room. It's going to temporarily suspend any function that you may have selected while you navigate. Okay, And you can see the little red icon that follows your cursor, and that's indicating that it's not going to do any work. It's only going to navigate. As soon as you release the Alt key, now you're back to where you can work. All right, so let's choose at the very bottom here, let's choose current pick point. And this is probably the best one to use when you want to work with the Maya style navigation. And notice where I initially click. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click right there just above the eyebrow and you see that little widget placed right where I clicked initially. So let's try here on the cheekbone. I'm going to Alt, left mouse click and drag. 
and it's going to rotate around that particular point. So that may be the way you prefer to work. Uh, again, Alt, right click and drag, and I can zoom. Alt, middle mouse button and drag, I can pan. So without the Alt key, you need to move your cursor outside to do those things. But the good thing is you don't have to hold down any modifier keys at all. Okay, so I can middle mouse click and drag, right click and drag, to zoom, and left mouse click and drag to rotate. Now, there have been a number of requests for trackball rotation and I'm going to refer to my 3D connection device which allows you to roll to the left or to the right. Without that, by default, you don't really have the option. If you click outside here and rotate, okay, you can't really roll your object. You can forward and backwards but you cannot out here to the left or to the right. right however there is a way to tell 3d coat that you indeed want that type of functionality to be able to roll to the left or to the right which again many refer to as trackball rotation so let's go to the camera menu and we're going to customize it so that we can. Now what you have here is the uh, setup navigation. You can see the action type. You're telling 3D Coat that whenever you press these hotkeys that 3D Coat is going to do this. Okay, so shift, left mouse button, it's going to rotate the panorama and so on when you choose different navigation presets these will obviously change so let's go right here instead of blur panorama I want to change that to roll and you can see that's changed now I'm going to hit OK now the option was shift right mouse button so again I'm going to just left mouse click out here again I cannot roll my object or my camera however if I hold down the shift key and then right mouse button click and drag now I can okay Same thing here. And I don't have to hold this shift key or right mouse button to roll forward and backwards, just from side to side. All right. So when you need that trackball rotation again, you can access your hotkey combination or your mouse action uh, to work the way you want. Now with that done, let's go ahead and go back to custom navigation and let's say we want to save this as a preset so we'll choose store preset before I do that maybe I want to remove this navigation zone I can uncheck that and modify this however I like now I'm going to go back to the top and store preset so 3DC maybe underscore trackball and let's say no navving save yeah, okay now 
we have that listed right here. You also happen to have Maya uh, preset, so let's choose that. Now if I try to click outside the object to rotate, I can't do anything. It works exactly like Maya does. I have to hold down the Alt key to rotate, no matter where I'm at. So Alt, middle mouse button drag to pan, Alt, right mouse button and drag to zoom. Simple as that. Now the ZBrush option or ZBrush like will quickly snap your model to a particular side view or the closest side view. So let's say if I'm working in this particular area, if I hold down the shift key and click, it's going to quickly snap to the front view. So I'm going to rotate about, hold down the shift key, it's going to quickly snap to the side view there. And there you have it.